Petter Solberg alongside Andreas Mickelson in Pirelli's development car. 16 rally wins and a world championship between them. Uh, what do you think we can expect from these two today, Julian? A, a lot of fun, <laughs> and, and, and this cameo uh, by them. Uh, but it's an important, it's an important statement. Obviously, we, we know that Pirelli have been developing these new tyres. They're coming in next year, and so it'd be interesting to see what it goes. I know there's been a lot of work. Just been scouring through social media, and they've been hammering the in-car video just before they left today to watch what's going on. And Andreas and Petter really want to have a good go in here. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, if I'm <laughs> honest. <laughs> but it will be entertaining, because the, the pace notes are going to be in English, I believe. Because Petter Solberg's pace notes have always been in English. So even though there's two Norwegians, uh, or if you look at their recce video, at least that was all in English. So let's hope we have a bit of fun. I'm certainly... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, isn't it? We. Uh, Seen some fun on uh, social media. Andreas, uh, not particularly uh, complimentary on Petter's uh, pace note techniques. Uh, Phil Mills has had to step aside for this one. I uh, may be watching somewhere back in the UK. Petter's a uh, long time co driver, of course. But here we go then. Petter Solberg with pace notes of Andreas Mickelson, 2003 world champion and 2004 Sardinia winner. Petter, of course, the uh, first ever winner of this. Uh, New look Rally d'Italia back then. Let's have a listen then to Andreas's technique. So far, so good, Julian. He's made it past that uh, corner that caught out Katsuta earlier today. There's Taka's car still there. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Good spot. Yeah, Andreas will be pleased as he's only 6.89 k's long, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he really will. But he's trying to change the pace. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's uh, first look at uh, oh, the second run through here, but first look uh, in this run through the Cesare stage. It's a wonderful stretch of road, isn't it, Julian, alongside the coastline? What can you tell us about this one? Short, but it's uh, still exciting, isn't it? Yeah, there's uh, two definite characters to the road. The first bit, as you can see, in, in narrowing amongst the, the walls and the hedges. And then the second part of the stage is uh, on a sandier surface. And, uh, it's quite rocky and rough, the first part. The second part on the on the really sandy, dusty section gets deeper and deeper because the cars just dig further and further into the sand. And we have seen in the past, sometimes, where the, the, the cars near the front of the field are quicker than the ones at the back, which is not normally the case. So I've got a feeling that's not going to happen today with the fight we've got going on with the cars running towards the end. But it'll be interesting to see Pedder giving us uh, a bit of an, a bird's eye view of that. This is the first time when Petter drove this car on shakedown on Thursday. The first time he's driven a latest generation World Rally car. So, because last year in World Rally GP he was in a, a, like, the Rally 2 category, WRC2. So, for his first proper kind of experiences and committed. Let's just listen in again. It's not the first time Andreas Mickelson has co-driven. Him and Thierry Neuville did a, 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 seat, a seat share swap uh, on the Monza rally, I think it was two years ago, and they drove a stage each and they co-drove for a stage each. Yep, the Monza rally, of course, that has now become our final and eighth round of this uh, fascinating 2020 season. That's going to be the first weekend in December. And Andreas driving in the Citroen C3 here, of course. He actually just had to back off there. That's something interesting. The wind is blowing really strongly. And the wind blew the dust before he got to the hairpin. And he just backed off slightly just because there was a bit of dust. Yeah, as you can see from the images here, it's uh, right on the coastline. So we can have a strong sea breeze. Good, uh, good surfing. Uh, Potentially out there today, you can see it. Wonderful scenes, isn't it, along the stunning Sardinian coastline in here? Yep, 
be interesting to see, won't it, what the uh, Norwegians managed to do in terms of uh, time. Thierry Neuville was quickest in here in the morning with a 4.51.3. Got his breaking point bang on right there. I wonder how many runs they've done of this stage. I know in the recce officially, if you're doing the rally, you're allowed two. I wonder if they've been driving around this piece of road for a long, for most of like Friday and Saturday, or has it just been recce video? Yeah, I interviewed uh, Petter earlier in the week and uh, had a little bit of fun with it. We said, you're going for power stage points. He was uh, getting a bit of a giggle. He said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these are two, uh, competitive animals aren't they they'll uh, they're not just here well they are just here for an exhibition but they'll uh, want to remind the, uh, the the latest generation of wrc stars that uh, the old dog's still got a few tricks up his sleeve of course we've been watching petter's son oliver compete in the wrc3 this weekend as well disappointing to see him uh, fall away from that fight for the victory yesterday for a long time, he was the victory, wasn't he? He was yeah. the number one. Everyone right. was fighting him. Wonderful performance yeah. for Oliver. Up inside the top ten overall as well. So here we go. I don't know actually if we're going to get a time or not. <laughs> <laughs> I should have set my stopwatch off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I was really struggling to breathe to take everything out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonderful scenes between the two Norwegians, Andreas catching his breath. Big cheer from the fans. I think they enjoyed that one, Julian. <laughs> what we've got to remember is Andreas Mikkelsen is the Pirelli test driver. That's why he's in the car. Coming here to try this, uh, you know, like a warm up with the tires for next year. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It was very difficult, very, very tricky. But Andreas did a fantastic <laughs> job to, uh, as a car driver. Almost like Phil Mills. Uh, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> wow, the voice, I have no more voice left. Incredible. Jeez. Well, I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> well driven, well driven. Were you scared at any point? No, 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 I was fine. Uh, I was so busy to read pace notes, so... It was only one breaking the downhill, right? Uh, I, I didn't see yeah. it. I didn't see it. No idea. Watch WRC Plus on all devices. WRC Plus, all live.